Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to video number four in our new consultant training series. I am going to go over how to enter party orders. So you're going to want to go to your orders tab. And if you have not already created a party, there is a video for that. But you should have your party open and created at this point. So you're able to go in and hit edit orders. And this will give you the option to add guests to your party. You're going to want to add your guests to the party. You're not going to want to just enter them all as one order. And I will tell you why. You cannot follow up with your customers and see what the customer's orders were later on down the road if you do not collect all the information. So you want to collect as much information as possible. Their address, their phone number, all of those things. So, so we're going to use Sally Sample. I use her a lot. She is one of my best customers. She's not really a customer. Sally Sample has already been added to the party. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine because I was probably using her for another video. Oh, it's, it's literally not going to let me go back. Of course. Okay. That's fine. I'll go back to February orders here. And what it's saying is that I already added Sally, meaning I was working on making this training video a few minutes ago. Well, of course, now my internet's going to go slow. Okay, there we go. So I am the host, and this is how it will be for a launch party. You're going to be the host. You're going to be collecting rewards for yourself because how are you able to customer service if you're not able to buy products for free and half off? That's the whole point of partying. You can party for yourself, and you can party for your customers. So that's how you do that, your launch party, and then all other parties. As you saw, this is my February orders. This is real life. I'm not going to scroll down and show my, my attached orders. They are sitting here. And I just want to note to you guys, you, a lot of people come to me and ask me exactly why online orders are not included in the PRV for the party. It's because you've already been paid PRV. When somebody goes online to your PWS, which is personal website, if you see that around the place and you're like, what on earth is a PWS, personal website? Um, if you see, you've already been paid the PRV for that. So it already has a running tally. But since they're ordering underneath the host party, it does give you the host base. So when I tell the host myself in this instance, but let's say it's a customer, you have $53.90 towards the $200 necessary for a uh, qualifying party. So anyway, let's get this party qualifying. And I know a product that's going to do it immediately. The air purifier is $250. So that immediately gets us into a qualifying party. So as you see, my party summary has now changed, meaning my host base is $303.90. So it's well over qualifying. And the PRV that I'm going to get paid on, in addition to the PRV that I've already earned for people ordering online, is $250. So that's just a quick little clarifier on that host based online party thing. So now the party is qualifying. And what you're going to want to do, first things first, in this party summary, you can choose between who you are giving this perpetual party reward. Do not ever close a party without using a perpetual party reward. Perpetual party reward is an additional half off item. Sensi in the catalog literally says there's a $20 free product and a one half off item and the rewards get better as there's more sales in a party. I'm not gonna go over that because that's literally provided to you in other training. But that being said, Use your perpetual party reward for yourself, really. Um, that's how I supply myself with stock so that I can make samples. That's how I have freebie Fridays. That's how I am able to take care of and customer service because I party for myself consistently. I close parties consistently and I party with customers consistently. So if you are struggling to book parties, there are ways to use that perpetual party reward to book the party. You can literally say when you're booking it, once your party is qualifying, I have an extra half off item for you. Sensi literally only gives you one, but I have an additional one. You can pick anything that you would like and receive it half off. Short of licensed product, you cannot do Disney or Marvel or any of that as a perpetual party reward. But one of my favorite things to do for perpetual party is bundle and save. 
if you are not bundling saving for yourself and bundle and saving for your customers, and you can type anything in these search bars. I love typing in bundle because it brings up most of them. The only ones that I notice that it does not is the word pods. So if you're doing a pod bundle, you're gonna to wanna to type that keyword in. But I mean, as you saw when I was typing in air, anything that in that search bar that has the word or the letters together for air will pop up, which is super, super cool that you don't have to spell something or have something right on the tip of your tongue when you're searching. Um, for this, we're just gonna go bundle. Sure, I'll do three car bars. And honestly, for intents and purposes of a training video, I really don't care what sense they are. So we're saving and adding them to my uh, cart. So I'm only paying $8.50 for three car bars. I can do all kinds of good things with that. Um, thank you mail is never gonna be the same. Um, that being said, now I need to go to my host cart. So my host has $30 in free products. So thank you, Sally Sample, for shopping with me um, because you're literally enabling me to spoil my customers. So I, I don't even know what I need. Let's go to bundle again. And this is literally for me as a, cust or as a, cons as a consultant, a customer of myself. Um, let's build up my... Let's build up my scent circle stock because I use those for thank yous constantly. And for training purposes, I don't care what scent they are. So I'm able to send out three other thank yous. I still have $22.99. Let's go put the bundle again because it's the easiest way to shop and save. Um, you can go over in host credit. So for this example, I'm going to do that. And we'll just do three counter cleans because goodness knows they are fantastic. So I've used it all. I have no host credit left. That's okay. Because as you get down to my cart, you see how I had an overage of 661. So I used all of my, I used the remaining. So I, because I had only, I think 20 something left, 22 left. And it said I owed 661. So it will, it will keep track of the overages and have the customer pay. So I'm paying 661 for three counter cleans. I really think that's a great deal. Um, I got a half off left. Please note, and as it says in the catalog, you have to use three half offs. So your party has to be a whole lot more to earn those half offs necessary for the air purifier and necessary for a premium diffuser. Um, they don't just give those away, meaning you can't just party and have a little tiny bit of orders and expect to get that for half off. That that actually is a super, super amazing product. So they make you work a little bit harder for that. And, and you need three half offs for that. But for this video, we're gonna use it for another bundle. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get yet, but why not? Actually, you know what I'm gonna get? I need some pods. So I'll just add that. And for training, I always go with just whatever. So clearly we're using all the aloe water and cucumber because it's always the first thing. Um, so Sally Samples card is done. My host card is done. I've used my perpetual party reward, all of the goods. Oh, another little pro tip. If you guys are struggling to get someone to say yes to a party and they're kind of on the fence, another thing that I like to do is go ahead and offer a product for half off and I will pay for that. I'll add that to my cart. My favorite product to add is the mini fan diffuser. And I will tell you why they have to come to you for pods. They can't go to Walmart and get pods. So if you're giving that for free and you're using your perpetual, perpetual party reward on a product that only costs $15, for example, you're paying $7.50 for that. And they have to, they have, you, they have to replenish the order through you. They have to get the pods for it through you. So it's just a genius way to have a repeat customer and have a reason to follow up. Like I'm sure you're out of pods that you fell in love with. And as you saw, I added them. I add that as a half off item all the time. So I can always just stick, stick a single pod in a thank you, especially if I know they're already using a fan diffuser, but if they're not, even then, they're like, what is this amazing smelling thing? I need a fan to use it with. And 99% of the time, they purchase something to put that pod in. So that's just a little 
idea in addition to closing the party, which is really what this training video is about. So now that the party is over $200, you see that this bullet down here is now highlighted. So you're able to check out, meaning close the party. So ignore my shipping address, please. Um, one thing I'd like to point out, you're able to check multiple carts for your customers. So let's say your customer Venmoed you or PayPal or Cash App for their products. They didn't want to give you their debit card information or let's say you were doing um, a mystery bag or something like that and you needed these customers to pay you. You're still going to want to, like, want to make individual carts because you want to know in the future what they ordered. Period, the end, always create individual carts, even if you're paying for the whole thing. You want to be able to look back and see exactly what customer ordered what. It gives you a reason to follow up. It keeps your reporting accurate later on down the road when you're looking for, you know, somebody who had a Disney pod. Well, when a new Disney pod comes out, it gives you a reason to send that email, pull the report, um, and see exactly what was ordered. If you're not collecting good customer information for Sally Sample, you know, my customer, you don't have her phone number, you don't have her product history, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So make sure that you always collect, that, uh, that's like a pro tip, you've got to collect good information and make customer cards, even if you're submitting the order on your own debit card. I'm not gonna go here and hit that because I did find in my last training video, I got nine minutes in. If I hit that, it will show the entire card number, which is super great when you're making internet recordings. Um, if you have credits in Pay Portal, you can pay for it there. If you have product credit, for example, I have 2650, it'll let you apply that. See, it's, it'll let you add payment. Um, if you wanna use PayPal for the entire thing, you can do that. Um, I've never been able to collect PayPal information for a customer. If a customer wants to use PayPal, they need to use your PWS. Um, but that just gives you an idea. Once you have submitted payment, you've actually closed that order. Please note, when you're using a debit card, the billing address and the shipping address have to be the same or you need to uncheck that box. I know personally that applies for me because I did not change my debit card information. So I have a billing address that's tied to my debit card and a shipping address. So when you are collecting debit card information and you can enter multiple debit cards on workstation, like I promise you it will work, but you need to make sure you're not gonna snag up closing your order when you, when you're collecting payment information from your customer, you need to ask for three things. You need to ask for the name, let's say four things. You need to ask for the name on their debit card. You need to ask for their full credit card number, the expiration, the CVV, and the billing address. Because sometimes that's not the same. So that's actually five things. Can't even count today. Um, you have to have that information. Otherwise, you can check billing and shipping address is the same. In some instances, it is. I would say 85% of the time, it is the same. So it's a non-issue. Once you're ready to submit and you've entered the payment information, you've closed the party and you are done. So hopefully that it was a lot of information. I know it was a little bit longer than I normally go, but that's how you submit party orders. So there was a lot of information in there. I hope you took notes. Perpetual party is a big deal. Knowing how to submit payments and how to use a debit card is a big deal. Um, and putting the most information in for each customer cart. Other than that, you're ready to party all the time. Thanks, guys.